So here we are at the track, Jason. What do you think it's gonna run? On motor? Yeah. You know, slow. Slow. Yeah. What about know, on the electric turbo? Add that extra 200 horsepower. I'm hoping low tens, high nines. I'm glad you spotted the crank pulley that almost flew off. Yeah, that could have been uh, catastrophic. Let's but hey, it still had a bolt and a half on the one. <laughs> Yeah, we're down to three bolts on the crank pulley. It was a little wobbly. Sounded like a box of angry crickets. All right, we'll do a motor pass and see what she does. Unfortunately for this first race, the track was playing copywritten music on the PA. So to counter that, here are my very own country lyrics to go along with the LTD naturally aspirated racing a Tesla Platt. We started out side by side. It didn't matter that she was two and a half tons and twice as wide. But when it was time to go, she left me behind. She broke my heart, my big bottom the bride. And because this is a country song, then my dog died. I call it tears on the blacktop. Thank you. Tip your waitresses. And when you have this kind of time to see the other cars ET and mile an hour, it makes a man question, where have I gone wrong? What other choices could I have made? The other car's already on the return road and I'm not there yet. This video's going a bit off track. Is that a pun? I don't know, let's get on with it. So how'd you feel about that Tesla, Jason? I uh, was not expecting what that Tesla did to the LTD. It's a sad day. That, that was... Uh... It was interesting, but I would gladly sit next to the Tesla again with the electric turbo turbo. <laughs> I just hope it stays together. I hope the crank fully stays on. I hope it all stays together. <laughs> Believe it or not, that 12.2 at 114 is the LTD's fastest naturally aspirated pass since we started this electric turbo stuff. The quickest was at 12.23 at just under 112, and mile per hour tells the horsepower tale. In this case, remember how we lost 44 horsepower naturally aspirated on the dyno? Wow, that's a problem. Well, we still picked up two and a half miles per hour at the track. If that doesn't cement the notion that the dyno is best used as a comparison tool rather than an absolute, I don't know what does. We checked the crank pulley bolts, connected the sledgehammer's discharge tube to the throttle body, and made our first electric turbo hit of the day. What started out as angry crickets are now crank pulley bolts literally being pulled through the pulley and they're galling in the balancer. This is not good. It's a dumb thing to be sidelined by, but maybe we can fix it here at the track. All right, because Jason knows everybody at the track and we have this problem. This bolt ripped right through the pulley. Now I found this on the uh, dyno session. I found a piece of steel sitting on the uh, inner fender apron. I didn't know where it came from. I'm like, where could this possibly come from? Because you saw a spark on the dyno. Well, now we know. 
And all this runs right now is the alternator. Look, there's a crack in it right there, too. Yeah. And this is all offset, but it's kind of pushed in. So anyway, again, because Jason knows everybody, we were able to get four bolts with washers and Sorry. even a socket to put them in with. Get this one lined up. That one lined up. In she goes. Okay, and then the last one. Like I said, I feel bad that I didn't break the trailer or anything. No, it's all good. This is part of the fun. <laughs> you ain't breaking, you ain't racing. That's right. And actually, this is going to be just fine, as a matter of fact. Man, I think we're... I think we're fixed. All right. Let's go run a nine-second pass. Let's get this thing in the nines. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wait! I'm liking that ticking sound. Supercharged Corvette. I've never seen it. Just annihilated the tires off the I line. I know, I saw that. That left lane was horrible, but my God, it felt so much faster that time. What was the mile an hour? In 130, the oh. It doesn't, it's not giving us, it's a mistake. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was definitely a mistake. 158, yeah, and you still want a 10 1. Yeah, it just annihilated the tires on the 60. That is a major difference that you, you got to be full precise boost. on full boost on holding that long enough to make it work. So do we drop tire pressure? We're at 18 PSI for Christ's sake. I'd like to get in the right lane again. And it's still making a noise I'm not digging coming from under the hood, I'm not gonna lie. I, I hear something, but I don't know what it is. Just wanna make sure the pull is tight. Yeah, we can grab the ratchet, or maybe not. Um, we got all four bolts, <laughs> and the washers don't move. 16 pounds and right-hand lane. Yes. We should climb in the back seat. That'll help. <laughs> yeah, that'll get more traction. Love this 
car. Thanks so much for coming to the track with me. I hope you had as much fun watching the video as I did making it. You know, we might have to do something about that Tesla time. Please be sure to like and subscribe and see what we decide to do about it. I'll catch you on the next one. That lane was so much better. I actually, I know it pulled the wheel, at least the left wheel, because I felt it. And I was like, we're on a run. I mean, come on. If you're gonna watch a video, you couldn't have asked for a better ending.